Welcome back everybody. This is your city drawing. First thing you want to do is put two vanishing points on your paper and it's typically best if your paper is running um, horizontally rather than vertical for a tree house. So I put that first line on and we're going to get started right away with a vertical line that goes above and below the horizon line. This is the corner of the building that is closest to us. And I'm going to take this back to the VP. Step two is going back to the vanishing point in both directions. Make sure you have a nice sharp pencil and that you're drawing lightly enough so that you could erase these lines off of here at any point. For the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to be drawing a little darker so you can actually see it in the recording. All right, step three, if you remember, is a vertical line. So I'm going to do a vertical line in here, showing how wide my building is. So we're set on that. I'm going to erase my construction lines out of there. I'm going to leave this line on there and get rid of the horizon line in the middle of my building. Okay, so let's do, um, let's get our sidewalk started. Extend a line down from your first building. This, this width will be how wide your sidewalk would be. So if it's a little long, just shorten it up. Take this line and go back to the VP in both directions. Okay, and Continue that line just a little bit down here. And now this is going to show us the thickness of that sidewalk. So remember, sidewalks are typically raised above any street to kind of keep and have like a curve and have some differentiation from the street itself and make it a little bit safer. Now, the next thing we're going to do is erase this off of here. And now we're going to put the separation in the sidewalk. So what you do is you line up on your vanishing point on the opposite side, go down the street on the bottom of the buildings and make your first mark on this side of the building. So now I'm going to just slowly go up the street. To complete the sidewalk. Now remember as you go up the street, you're going to make these closer and closer together. Always double checking over here that you are still on your vanishing point. Okay, then we're going to flip it around and we're going to go the other direction. Try and make them about the approximately the same width on the other side. That'll always be helpful. Make it look like a realistic drawing. Okay, so you can continue that as far as you want to go. Next step is a short vertical line, which is step three in this process. These short little vertical lines will show you the thickness of this. Don't forget to not tip, don't tip those lines over because you don't want it to look like they're going in the wrong direction. Okay, so every one of those lines, you could freehand these if they get really tiny. So there, now you have a sidewalk. All right, now let's do a second building here. Second building, let's say you wanna make this building a little taller. So I'm, this is the edge that's closest to us, gonna bring the line up higher. And I'm gonna do step two, which is go back to the VP in this direction. and the other vanishing point as well. Okay, draw how wide you want that building on the street side. And now I'm gonna show you something that's not incorrect. And that is if I were to draw this line over here, it, it would be impossible for this building to be on this side of the street 
and on the side of this street as well. So you would have to draw this vertical line somewhere back here. So I'm going to take that off of there and put it in a more correct location. So perhaps like right here would look more realistic. Okay. All right, so then I'm going to erase our construction lines off of there. Notice they're coming off really nicely because I drew them lightly. Let's do a building over here. Now this time I want to separate it so it's not right next to this building. So I'm going to decide where that corner of that building starts. Draw a vertical line up. And step two, as usual, back to the VP. I'm going to draw, erase out that so I can have a, don't get too confused. And then um, the one thing that needs to happen on this line, since it's separated, is you need to draw the bottom of the vertical back to the vanishing point over here. And what that does is it looks like it's an alleyway that can go into that space. So finish the front of the building, draw that on there. And now we have three buildings ready to go. Um, let's do a door. So let's put a door over here. So let's first of all decide how many floors are on this. If this is going to be a two-story building, I'm going to show you how to find the middle of this building. So you go from corner to corner flush. Okay. This point right here marks the middle of that building. So if you want to have a door that looks like in correct perspective, you would definitely want to make it look sh shorter than this because the floor, this would be second floor and this would be first floor. So let's make a door that does that isn't much taller than say like to here. All right, so I'm going to put my first vertical line on. Draw it back to the VP. Now this time I'm not going to draw through my buildings. I'm just going to draw a short line. Okay and draw my next vertical. This could be a simple door. Put a handle on it, we're good to go, right? But maybe we want to have it to be a door that you step through into the hallway. Well, let's do an inverted box by taking the bottom of this corner and going back to the VP. And now it looks like you can walk into that space. But let's say you want it only be like you step in like one or two steps. So what you would do is you put in another vertical. Show me how wide this is. That is how wide it is when you step in. So I'm going to just draw a vertical line of making that best guess for myself. And then I'm going to take this corner right here. I'm going to go back to this vanishing point. Line it up properly. And just draw that short line right like that. And I'm going to erase this off of here. And now I have what appears to be a door. Okay. All right. I'm going to leave that dot on there just for future use. But let's now put a window on over here. Okay. So vertical line. I'm going to put a big picture window in. Take that back for step two, 